Oh. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Darius Fishing. Um, it's a couple days after Christmas, but Ben Milliken from Milliken Fish, I know a lot of you probably know who he is. He is a six cents guy and he's arranged this fishing trip for all of us to go out to Texas, go fishing for a couple days, gather a bunch of content. I'm super excited about it. Um, but before I even continue to go, I wanted to say thanks to Six Cents Fishing for sponsoring today's video and the rest of this trip. Um, six Cents, as you guys know, uh, they make premium fish and tackle from uh, hard baits, soft baits. Now they're making rods. They've got hooks, weights, tungsten. Um, they've got an entire new soft plastics line. And that's kind of what we're going to film in Texas. But here's just a couple quick of their new soft plastics. Uh, they've got a new flipping bait, a beaver style bait called a prawn. And here's just a quick handful of stuff that I'm taking with me on my trip. Um, they've got lipless crankbaits, topwaters, another lipless. Um, a grass fishing bait movement. Here's my favorite deep fishing bait. Um, Six Cents is an absolutely awesome company. I'm super pumped to be working with them. Uh, I'm thankful that they sponsor this video. And if you want to get anything from SixCentsFishing.com, always remember to use the code DC10 when you check out to save yourself 10% off anything on the website. As for today though, I've got pretty much everything I want to take um, in these bags. These are actually I'm just gonna keep sponsor plugging away since I'm already at it. I might as well keep going. These are six cents little uh, bait bags, I think they're called. And I really like them to be dead honest. As you can see what I'm doing. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs of plastics in there. And that bag's about, I don't know, maybe halfway, three quarters of the way full. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave some space because I know when we get to Texas, we're going to be getting some more stuff, so I don't want to have this bag too, too crammed. You know that buddy who you go fishing with who never has his shit together? Sometimes that's me, I'll be honest. But hey, the good thing about fishing is camaraderie is really strong, so you can count on other people. Because at, at the moment, fishing friends are still dependable. So the lakes that we're going to are heated. They're power plant lakes, they're heated. I honestly don't know a ton about them. I just know that the water temperature is way higher than the lakes that aren't heated. Um, so I haven't even really studied them too much. I'm gonna do some some looking today while we're driving, but they're already spawning out there is what I'm hearing. So some lakes are spawning, the other lakes, the water temperature is in the 40s and they're on jerk bait and typical wintertime stuff. So it's gonna be really cool to go out there and fish summertime, springtime patterns while it's wintertime. So I'm excited about that. Jesus. All right, that pretty much wraps up the intro of this video. Um, one cool thing, not cool, actually, one terrible thing about this trip is right now I'm driving to Tennessee to go ride all the way to Texas with Luke Duncan. Luke Duncan is my arch nemesis. Uh, honestly, he's a terrible person. He hates kids, he hates dogs, he actually kicks dogs. Um, he gets free fish and tackle from people and literally runs it over with his truck. Uh, I'll put a video up on that on the screen if I can find it. He probably deleted it because he was embarrassed of it. Luke doesn't bathe. Luke, uh, his house is a complete wreck, honest to God. I've never seen a boat as disgusting as Luke's and actually we're not even bringing a boat to Texas because I don't have my boat and Luke's boat is so filthy he never washes his boat ever. Um, I don't know why Luke I don't even know why Luke fishes, honestly. Sometimes Luke gets done fishing with his nasty, slimy hands and like gets, and he just gets right in bed. Like that's filthy. We have arrived. Finally. Luke said, make sure you get here at- 10.30. Um, 11.34. 10.30. Exactly. You got here. 11.34. You got here at 11.34. All right, so those of you who don't uh, follow me on Instagram, don't really know the feud between between me and Luke. Yeah, I'm not sure. Are you packed up and ready? Oh, I figured you are. You throwing your rods in the back? Savage. So, those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, don't really know about the feud between me and Luke because, unfortunately, he lives out in the middle of freaking nowhere, and we don't get to fish together very much. But Luke and I both work for TH Marine. Luke's been Luke has been working at TH Marine about 35 years. He's I think Luke is 50. Luke just turned 51. He's been there since he was 16. He's just not got his driver's license. And uh, anyhow, so me and Luke work together at TH, and unfortunately, we got to travel together a lot for work. Now we get to travel a lot together and fish. But at the end of the day, I just 
purely hate them. So anyhow, we have a lot of friendly and unfriendly competition with each other because part of it's a joke that I hate them, but some of it's real. And by the way, I was right about Luke uh, bringing a spinning rod. Oh, yeah, you know, we made it. We got here. Unfortunately, I had to ride with Luke. You slept the whole way. You didn't even know I was there. I slept a little bit of the way here, but we finally made it. Actually, last night we made it here to Texas, and uh, it's a Motley fucking crew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. No, did I leave back up? Back up. It's a Motley crew that I'm with. Uh, First off, y'all are gonna get to know Captain Ron very well. Captain Ron, one of the most popular people on the trip. There's no T, it's Captain. Captain, Captain Ron. There's a lot to learn about about Ron. He told some stories actually about this very parking lot that we're in that we can't share on the channel. Until about three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. So. Alarm clock went off at five. I'd like to remind everybody it's not here. Alarm clock went off at five. We shouldn't have gone to bed, but we persevered. We got up. We're here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So here we are, we're in Texas. Ben Milliken, Luke Duncan, Captain Ron, you're like four guys, and some guys from Sixth Sense. They're doing their own thing. They haven't even came over and talked to us this morning, but we're about to get after it. Um, one thing we're doing on this trip, everybody here is a Sixth Sense guy, um, so we're doing these challenges with the Sixth Sense bag today. For sure a challenge Darian's gonna lose. We'll figure that out later. See you guys on the water. Like to get behind current brakes, Darian. Yeah, tell me more. I read that in Bass They're trying to board us already. I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah. All right, so here's the sack that we're using for today's challenge this morning. And I'm going to start with, so I'm going to actually, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to start with the Divine Swim Jig because everyone else is throwing something different. But here's what I'm going to do a little bit different than them. I want to fish it slower, fish on the bottom. I'm not going to swim it like I normally would. But I'm going to put a shad color. This is a new Divine Swim Bait, but it's the bigger one. It's the 4.4. Um, we haven't, I, I haven't ever seen this one yet. It's newer. So what I'm going to do, because these idiots that I'm fishing with, I mean fishing against, they're whatever they're doing up there. So I'm going to, I'm going to rig this up. I'm going to fish it slow on the bottom just to do something totally different than what they're doing. That's the only reason. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're biting, but I have confidence in it. So I'm going to rig it up. Maybe it won't work, but hopefully it will. Yeah, they're about to turn around and make that cast. Oh, you guys want to fish today? I don't know that. That looks deep. Oh, there we go. That's my dude right there. That'll save. Dig it. Hey, Luke! <laughs> so first bite and i've got them hooked outside the mouth that's key that is what you want <laughs> i don't even know how that happened but check this out guys maybe those are bass down there we're seeing like a million freaking bass on the screen and there we go he's not gonna do us much good for our tournament but, not, but okay. <laughs> hey i caught one before luke duncan so right. my trip is worthwhile already <laughs> if nothing else good happens for me at least i caught the first fish before luke duncan You've never been in this lake, right? Nope. So Ben's never been here. Obviously, I've never been here. Uh, Billy, the guy that Luke's with, guides here frequently, I think. Cheaters. Cheaters. So they're they're over there. I mean, look at them. As soon as I catch one, they're freaking. I hope Luke doesn't actually have one. Ha! Lost him. Ha! So, anyhow, we're the lakes that we're on. I don't even think I talked about this, but we're fishing a power plant lake. The discharge that we started at over there. It's kind of raining, so I didn't really talk about it much, but um, there's a huge power plant where we kind of where we put in at. I'd, I'll shoot some video of that when we get back to the ramp. I didn't even really show it, but uh, they're flowing a ton of hot water out of this thing. And this, the water temperature been set is 71, which is crazy, obviously for this time of year, um, that's 71 degrees. So a lot of fish they're said are spawning or right at pre-spawn. Um, I thought I just had another bite, but I hit some super interesting too because we can fish parts of this lake that are probably 58 degrees and it's seven that's crazy degrees, so. at the other lakes we fish it'll be even more of a difference than that even a lot of times it could be 95 degrees and the water's pouring in and you go around the point and it's 52 degrees that's crazy it's wild it's a weird dynamic 
There you go, got it. So that makes the fishing fun. Obviously we can do a little bit of things that we can't do back home, especially Ben definitely can't do them back home. <laughs> he's uh, He's been doing some ice fishing recently. So all, all of y'all's lakes are frozen, right? Um, and unfortunately it's in between. I gotta travel like eight or 10 hours to go ice fishing. Wow, that sucks. So we got 35 degree open water or ice that's not safe to fish right Oh. Ah. Yeah, so that's kind of why we had the trip in Texas. Ben knew a lot about this area and knew some guys reached out to Billy and Captain Ron and kind of planned the trip accordingly, which hopefully by the end of this trip will pay off. <laughs> oh, oh god oh god oh god oh jesus dude i just kicked this and it turned into a damn bomb i was like that i was a toothpaste i just ruined my man's monster spilled it all over everything you better be glad that's on there gee are you rolling <laughs> welcome to Oh God, oh, welcome to them. Now our boat smells like garnetine or whatever that is. <laughs> it smells good. I could reel that fish Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Right, right at the boat. I don't know if that's a he lost one right at the boat? No. Yeah, six. We're gonna throw them back anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rig up a Texas rigged uh, I'm just gonna. That's a good call, man. Yeah, I'm gonna Texas rig this clout worm. They're not biting it good. I just got a feeling maybe that'll be a good swap up. All right, so here's the jugular hook out of our out of our bag. Maybe if we can catch one on it, we can eliminate that. Or if we catch one on it, we can put a pattern together and go catch some big ones on it. I think this is gonna be actually a really good color. Green pumpkin burst clout worm. I'm not gonna peg it. I've talked about that in some of my other videos, but when I'm pick pick, picking, when I'm pitching around a stick worm, Senko or a, a Zoom makes a Magnum finesse worm that's really good. When it, the bite is weird, whether it's in the dead heat of the summer, my favorite time to do it is in the dead heat of the summer, but I will go no peg, Texas rig, just pitch it around, fish it slow, hop it a whole bunch. Sometimes they'd be jumping on it. Not his ass. <laughs> Hi, bud. Biggins only. Biggins only. I was trying to reel up and pitch into yours, and I freaking had one. <laughs> yours looked like it was right on that little inside edge. Like There we go. Got it. There oh, we go. We did something. We did something. Oh god. He's kicking stuff out of the boat. We did it. There are fish in here. On the swimming jog. Boom. We're on the board, Darian. Nice. We're on the board officially. That took way too long. That's a pretty fish there. It is. Nice little Florida strand guy. Absolutely. D, I'm putting nice. him on. Nice. Freaking bastard. Not even a big one. Just freaking Was that a first cast on the worm? Second, I think. Well, it was on the cloud. It's just gone now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Things are happening, kind of. I don't know if he's 15 inches. He does not help the cause. It's fun, though. He is a hard fighter at last. Well, it might be pretty tough, guys, but um, this is... Oh, oh, God. <laughs> right as you say it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. the grass patch dreams are made of. Okay? Yes, big dreams are made of. Big dreams. 
What you got? You're throwing a swim jig. I'm throwing a swim jig. Swim I was jig. just starting Big to think that. Swim bait trailer on there. Yeah. You were thinking this was going to be. Yeah, I was just about to say. I was about to tie that on. Extreme and then I, swim jig. Yeah. That's how it always goes. Yeah. Anything to confuse you. There has been a confusion there that we'll fish. Anytime I get around these little grass clumps, they're like this one right here where it's a little bit more isolated. We're not on a big bank of grass. It's going to be getting big. But. Oh. I don't think so. I think he looks better. Oh, man, that's, you shrink it. It's a little better. It's a little better. <laughs> Very little better. Oh, worse? He came like crazy to get it though. Pegged right where he's supposed to be pegged at. Yeah, right on the top. You too. Bites picking up will stand forever. Forever. I'm kind of hoping we stop getting bites yeah. so we can leave. Seriously. <laughs> we need to go somewhere. <laughs> We've met back up with Team Dumber and Dumber. And uh, unfortunately for us, well, we're gonna see how this ends here in a second, but. Yeah, I think we got hosed. I think we got hosed, honestly. Apparently it's a 14 inch length limit. By Team Dumber, yeah. you mean Team Victorious? Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, either one, but we'll see how this goes. Well, y'all y'all stick along to this. We tend to obey all state laws, okay guys? It says 14 yeah. inches, so that's what we did. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. God, he got a lot bigger. He did. He got a lot bigger. Oh, he nice. got a lot bigger. You guys that's a, that's ever Lisa seen one this seven. big? That's yeah. Seven. Yeah, we weighed him earlier. He was eight and a half. Looks eight, like eight, eight, four. He lost a little weight riding in that, in eight, that fast four. boat. I yeah, understand. We, we weighed him already, though. I understand. So. Yeah. These guys got. There's Captain Ron coming in. He's disqualified. Captain Ron's late on the way in. They're griping the guys. This isn't good. This is, this is what we got. got it's probably big fish of the day, though, unless Captain Ron got a big. Maybe got. I don't know. What you got Where's the rest of them? All on the in the uh, lake. You threw them back. We got tricked. This, this place we're building. In big Anytime buildings. you can beat stupid Luke Duncan, and it's a great day. Anytime you can beat. You didn't, you didn't beat stupid day. Stupid Luke Duncan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You guys only had the one in there. Yeah, we just had one. Oh, they only had the one. Don't say it like it. One. Don't say it like it's the one. Just the one. You only had the one fish. They only had one fish. Chaotic way in. We're trying to wrap it up. <laughs> Chaotic Captain Ron comes in here late. They're disqualified. You're late to weigh in, Ron. Dude, my motor's freaking cutting in now. Brand new. All the way from up the road. Woo! Whoa. What's up? Hammerhead. Anybody yeah. want to bump those on the board? Nope, no, because we already have. Those. This yeah. is Luke's well, whopper. No. Especially since we didn't Woo! weigh down there. Why'd you, why'd you pull out the biggest one? And? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Woo! Winners. I'm alive. Winners. Well, I think it's, uh, for, would you for guys life. Know, for life. Even though you talked about uh, he likes a few professional fishermen, he thinks they're good looking men. Um, didn't really know what to think about that. It was a random draw today. And uh, Milliken thought it would be cute to put me with a guy that thinks guys are cute. That's yeah. fine. All I'm saying That's is fine. Casey Ashley, you can't be looking at me like that next time we It's Casey me. Ashley. <laughs> Let the cat out of the bag. Casey <laughs> Ashley. Ashley and I didn't know that. He's like the prettiest dude. He's, he's, like, about he's the like prettiest man I've really ever seen. Uncomfortable. He's like, you think you can sing one of his songs? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so unfortunately we lost the video. We lost today's challenge. We uh, we did catch fish on three of the things in the pack. Obviously the hooks we had to use on the clout worm. We both caught fish on it and the uh, swim jig. We didn't really smash them though. Obviously we didn't catch a lot of fish. This video might not even have many fish at all. There were several times where he caught one that wasn't rolling or I caught one that wasn't rolling. We had several bites that we missed. We had several fish that came off right at the boat, but they were all small. Um, I feel like we probably would have won if we had all of our fish, definitely, because we probably had four, maybe three other, we had at least three other 14 inches, but we're not gonna complain. It was a fun day, had a good day out on the water. Um, it rained off and on for a long time, which was kind of frustrating, just because filming, like having cameras and stuff, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to have like rain, because then you have wet stuff and you can't really operate good with wet cameras. But anyhow, uh, yeah, definitely a fun day. Had a good time with all the guys. Ben, Cole, Luke. We're gonna head on out to the next lake. We'll see you on the next one.